The purpose of this video is to get you designing and creating from your own imagination to create objects that we can 3D print as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to do this video in five minutes. Click the browser. You can't use Internet Explorer. You need to get Google Chrome for this. Or you could use Mozilla Firefox. Once you have one of those, go to Tinkercad.com. Sign up for a free account. Put your name that you want for the account here. I'm going to call it Student1 3D Lesson looks like student 13 D lesson but whatever and put your email address here um, don't copy my stuff obviously you won't be able to get in you can select something here my date of birth in there or some date of birth in there of course this part takes a long time don't click off of this it's actually working but it just takes a while you just have to be patient this is going to eat up a lot of my allotted five minutes that I gave myself if I can cut it down that quick and you're going to start in here. Let's get out of this. You can do these tutorials later, but I'm going to get you going as quickly as possible. All right, so what we're going to do here is from here, we don't want to get into lessons. We're going to get back out here to all designs and then create. So over here, all designs and then create a new design. We want to make our own new design. And so what you can do is you start out with these shapes. You can drag them out here. I'm going to try to make a house. Okay, so there we go. We have that shape and I have a roof. Okay, that's obviously wrong because the roof needs to go on top of the house. But first, I want to shorten this a bit. It doesn't need to be so tall. What you can do is just click on the object, drag it down to shorten it. You can do anything you want. You can grab this corner, and it'll adjust the size in this manner. So I'm going to make it about like that. I'm going to grab this. See this arrow pointing up? You can drag this up. Man, I can't really see it that well. I'm going to click this button to adjust my view. See over here, you can adjust your view. You, this is so important for 3D design, is to adjust it so that you get a good view. I can grab it and just drag it right. Whoa, that's not a very good view, apparently. Whoops, I don't like that. I'm going to undo that. Click that undo button. Go back to a different view here. You can also use your, your mouse uh, to do this with your right mouse button. There we go, dragging that on top. Let's get a home view and go down a bit. You can see it from the side up. Oh, that's not exactly right on there. It needs to go down just a bit. Now it's on there. Right mouse button to rotate our view again. And see, so you can kind of scale this and drag it up. Now I'm going to 3D print this. I don't want any overhangs for the purpose of this video. So I'm just going to kind of do it so that it matches this building here. you're wondering how I'm sliding the camera around, I'm using the middle mouse button. You can slide it around. If I hold down the right mouse button, I do that. Hey, there's my object. And you know what? Um, I'm also going to put, I don't know why, but I'm going to put a hexagonal smokestack. Whoa, way too big. Hold down. I'm going to click this corner. I'm going to hold down shift, which will make it scale. Oops, that's not good. Let's drag it out of there. Just You can just grab it and drag it. I'm going to scale that down to this size. And then grab the top of it. See this dot? Whatever dot you grab, that's what you're going to be adjusting. I grab the top dot, so I'm adjusting the height of it. And there we go. I've got myself a little chimney. Kind of a boring thing, but we're in a hurry here. So you can do whatever you want with your imagination. Now I'm going to go here to design. I'm going to click download for 3D printing. What you want to do, almost always, the best option for this is going to be the STL. Dot STL. stands for stereolithography. And there it is right there. Now from here, it's going to be different for everybody, but pretty much any software that you use that does 3D printing, uh, processing, and slicing should be able to handle the STL file that you just downloaded from here. Enjoy, and I hope that your designs turn out a lot better than my boring little house. Thank you so much for watching.